Already it looks set up this for a really high quality shootout. Healy Lard's going to take the second penalty for Manchester United. This might be the Conti Cup, but I'm sure that there are butterflies in the stomachs of these players. Up she steps, and it's well saved by Anna Liat. She probably telegraphed it, made it a little bit too obvious for Liat that she was going to go back towards that side, and it's a good stop from Anna Liat. Yeah, yeah. But credit Sophie Bagley, you know, you've still got to save them even if they pull penalties, and she's uh, she's made some uh, very vital saves for United in this game. Short run up for two. Oh, oh it's an awful penalty. <laughs> two England internationals that have, you know, executed really poor penalties well they should be listening to you forget the short run up and have a, a normal length one that's so poor from tune to the stage where with the uh, penalty takers you probably don't expect to find the back of the net Hannah Blundell is going to step up whistle is blown Blundell saved well, I think some penalty training might be needed as far as Manchester United are concerned. Really disappointing penalties. Again, you look at the starting position of the keeper. She's starting behind the line. It's just giving her that little bit of momentum as she comes on to actually... Uh, look at the starting position from the keeper. She starts there behind the goal line. Whether that's legal or not, I, I don't know the rules on this one, but again, she's coming off there and it's just giving her that momentum. I, I think as long as you're behind it, you can almost start where you want. Yeah. So I think from her point of view, it gives her the chance to, to leap forward as the kick is about to be taken. On your bat, yeah. Oh. Saved again! That's probably the best save of the lot, that. You know, it was, again, a good height, but uh, but again, a good save. These, these are international footballers, and it, it's really disappointing that 